Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, I'm gonna review the Wombot Modus. And you're back. So this review has been long awaited. A lot of people have been requesting it. So let's get stuck in, hey? So the Wombot Modus is a large form factor printer similar to other large form factor printers like GMAX, etc. Now this has got a 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter by 50 centimeter build volume, which is massive. So that's 400 by 400 by 500. It's also got belts on the Z axis to eliminate any kind of banding that you can get with standard lead screws. Auto leveling comes standard using the BL touch. There is an optional heated bed that you can get for this printer and it comes with a standard MK8 hot end. I've been using this printer uh, pretty much constantly as my primary go-to printer for the last six months. And I tend to try to use printers for a long time before I do their reviews, just so I can give you an honest opinion. The printer itself is excellent. The build quality is excellent. It is um, very well built, very strong. So you would think that when the steppers disable on the Z axis, being with belts instead of a lead screw, that the entire X axis would drop. But um, Aramis has built in a braking system to the top of the printer. So that just leaves enough friction on that, um, that rail that it won't drop as soon as the power is cut or the steppers are disabled. The brains of this printer, the main board, is based on ramps, which isn't my first preference to be honest. I hate ramps with a passion and uh, if you happen to short any wires or any any kind of whoops you will fry the board straight away. That's pretty much a given with ramps because there's next to no protection. Okay I've printed uh, PLA, ABS, PETG and a lot of exotic filaments like the Apollo X and um, some of the other new composites that have just come out. I've also printed NinjaFlex, Polymaker, uh, Colorfab, pretty much you name it, I've tried it through this printer. You'll see in some of the footage that I have actually swapped out the standard extruder. Now, there is nothing wrong with the standard extruder, but it limits you basically with all MK8s. If you wanna print anything flexible like NinjaFlex or, um, or Polymaker or any, any other flexible filaments, you will be limited to about 20 millisecond, which is quite slow. Otherwise, the, um, the filament itself will just spaghetti around the gear and just tangle up. Things I like about the printer, it's a customizable open source platform, so you can customize it and upgrade it as you like. I like that the belts on the Z eliminate banding, but you just have to make sure that that brake is properly adjusted, otherwise your, your X rail will drop. The printer is actually really quiet. Um, I've measured it at under 50 dB. You've also got the LED display, which allows you to print via SD, so you're not tethered to a computer, which is awesome. To be fair, things that I don't like, I really don't like ramps electronics. I think they're outdated and there is much better options on the market, but I understand why he's using them. A few reasons, basically cost, and the GMAX printers and everything still run them as well. So there's nothing actually wrong with them. I just think they're a bit outdated. And if you use the coupon code, the hot end, you will get yourself a discount. So do I recommend this printer? Yes and no. I recommend this printer if you have a knowledge of 3D printers or you are technically minded because as with all printers of this type, there will be maintenance that you need to do. You need to tighten up wheels, nuts, pulleys. They all come loose over time. Like I said, with all RepRap Prusa designs, there will be maintenance to perform. Don't expect this machine to be as seamless and as easy to use as, say, a DaVinci or a Zortrax. They are for clearly different markets. So, in summary, if you are technically minded or you do have a previous knowledge of 3D printing, most certainly I recommend to get this printer. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want to support the channel, please by all means uh, look at the Patreon links in the description. Every dollar that comes in allows me to fund future projects and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video guys. Catch you later.